Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In this video, we are going to design and simulate triple five timer in a stable mode of operation, and we are going to use this software, which is the MultiSim. So, for a stable mode of operation, we need to do these eight connections, and I have demonstrated this in this uh, picture as well. You can see the image that we have. This triple five timer is operated in a stable mode of operation, and all these connections are done over here. So we are going to do this connection in multi-sim software. So let me open the multi-sim software. Now you can see the multi-sim software on your screen. I am going to come on top, and I am going to select the fifth from the left. Let's place analog. So I am going to select this, and in, I am not going to select the analog in group. I am going to select all, select all group. Okay, now we have the LM triple five CM and the LM triple five CN. I'm going to can select the CN. This is your triple five timer. Let me place it over here, and then I'm going to say okay. I'm going to close this. So we have placed our triple five timer, and you can see it has eight pins over here. This pin number five is the control pin. This is the threshold pin. This is the trigger pin. Pin number two. Pin number six is the threshold pin. Pin number seven discharge. Pin number four reset. Pin number eight is the VCC. Pin number one is the ground, and pin number three is the out. I have already described the pin diagram of the triple five timer in a greater detail in my previous videos. So what I am going to do? Okay, first of all, let me zoom it a bit so that. Okay, now I am going to connect some. I am going to need some resistors. I am going to need need some sources. So first of all, in the basic, I am going to select some resistors. So we are going to have resistors, and this is your resistor. So I am going to select it. So one of the resistor is here, and then I am going to select another resistor as well. So this is my second resistor, fine. And that's it. I am going to close it over here, fine. So why I have I needed two resistors, R one, R two. I have selected those resistors R1 and R2. The values will be changed later on. Now I also need two capacitors. So what I am going to do, and also I also need some ground. Again, for for capacitors, place basic. Now I am going to enter capacitor. Capacitor rated. Okay. So I am going to select this and press OK. So now we have two capacitors over here, and that is enough for us. Fine. Okay. Next is to select the ground. So if you can see over here, there is a place a source. So I am going to select first of all ground. Okay, I am going to select two grounds. I, you can also place one ground, but I am going to select two grounds. Okay. I also need the VCC. If you can see over here, this is your VCC. So I am going to also select the VCC, and VCC will be connected to the pin number ten. Fine. I am going to connect this VCC to the pin number eight because pin number eight is your VCC. So I have connected this VCC to the pin number eight. <coughs> also, the pin number one is your ground. So what I am going to do is that I am going to connect a ground over here. Fine. I have connected a ground and I have connected the VCC. If you can see over here, connect VCC to pin number eight. This is done. Fine. Okay. Number two is connect pin four. That is reset pin to the VCC. So we have did the number one connection. Now the number one, uh, number two connection states that connect pin number four, which is the reset pin to VCC. So we are going to do the pin number two connection. So this is my pin number four, which is the reset pin. I am going to connect it to the VCC. So this is done. The pin number four has been connected to the VCC. The second connection is also done. The third connection is pin number one to ground. We have already uh, done this connection. You can see over here we have connected this pin number one to the ground. If you can see over here, this pin number one is connected to the ground. Okay. Now let us see. Number four. Number four says connect pin number five control pin to capacitor and that capacitor to ground. So let us do the fourth step. Okay. The fourth step says that 
connect pin this is my capacitor so i'm going to bring it over here and it says that okay it says that connect this uh, pin number five to this capacitor and that capacitor to the ground fine so and i'm going to change the value of the capacitor by clicking on one microfarad this is if you can see over here this is your one microfarad i'm going to click the lower button so we have nanofarad over here and then i can change it to the 100 nanofarad if i want fine 100 nanofarad i'm going to place okay so now the part number four is also done this is also done now number five says that connect pin two and pin six together fine so we are going to connect pin 2 and pin 6 together this is your pin 2 and this is your pin 6 so we are going to connect them together you can see over here we have connected them together fine so we have completed step number 5 now step number 6 says that connect resistor R2 between this charge pin 7 and this pin 2 oblique pin 6 fine so we need to connect resistor R2 and this is my resistor R2 okay let me rotate it by 90 degree so I'm going to send 90 degree clockwise rotation so what I need to do is that connect this to pin number 7 and then to the other end to the pin number 2 oblique pin number 6 fine so we have we did our this number 6 step now the number seven step says that connect resistor R1 and R2 between pin 8, VCC and pin 2 oblique pin 6. Fine. So I need to connect a resistor R1. This is my resistor R1. Again, I am going to right click and say rotate clockwise. Okay. So one end this needs to be connected to the VCC. So this is connected to the VCC on one end. Fine. And on the other end it can needs to be connected to the pin 6 oblique pin 6 uh, pin 6 pin 2 oblique pin 6 okay fine so if you look at here we have completed the step number one which is connect resistors r1 and r2 between pin number 8 which is the vcc and pin 2 oblique pin 6 you can see over here we have connected resistor r1 and r2 between the vcc this is your vcc right between the vcc and the pin 2 oblique pin 6 fine right? let us move to the pin num step number 8 step number 8 says just connect capacitor c between pin 2 pin 6 and ground fine right? So we are going to connect a capacitor C. This is my capacitor C. Let me rotate it by 90 degree. Let me just adjust it over here. And then I am going to say that I am going to connect it to this. This this four LED line is your pin 2 oblique pin 6. On the other end, it is connected to the ground. Fine. So I can connect it to this ground or I can connect a separate ground let us just connect it to this ground so that we do not need more more components okay I can now delete this I have deleted this now all my connections are completed we have the VCC we have the R1 R2 C1 C2 all are completed now now we need to see the output for the output I need an oscilloscope so if we come at the right side this is your multimeter then we have the function generator then we have the watt meter then we have os oscilloscope so i'm going to select the oscilloscope this is your oscilloscope and i'm going to bring it over here oscilloscopes have two channels as you have already seen in your laboratory this is channel a r1 and this is channel b r2 so what we are going to do is to connect this uh, to the output and we are going to see the output on channel 1 fine so this is your output okay the negative terminal needs to be grounded i don't know why i deleted the ground so i am going to select the ground again i can connect to the already given ground but let us find another ground so that 
more clearer to you so this, this side i am going to connect it to the ground fine you can also connect this side to this ground but then the circuit is going to uh, look a bit complicated and you might not understand it fine okay our circuit is now complete now let us give the values of r1 and r2 and if r2 is equal to r1 we have a r2 is equal to 2 r1 we have a 60 percent duty cycle so let us fulfill this condition so let us say that r1 is your 10 kilo ohm and r2 is your let me select r1 as 10 kilo ohm fine r1 is selected as 10 kilo ohm and r2 as okay i'm going to put 20 kilo ohm so this is my 20 kilo ohm and i'm going to press ok and the capacitor is 100 nanofarad fine so we have to make the capacitor 100 nanofarad you can uh, change it from here this is your microfarad and this is your nanofarad fine so we have the capacitance of 100 nanofarad and i'm going to press ok okay when i press ok i'm going to click on run button over here if you can see this run resume simulation button click on here and now we are going to click on oscilloscope to see the output if you can see over here we have an output and this output is your square wave fine so you can also you know change a uh, scale uh, per division for this channel if you can see over here this is your channel a and the division is five scale per, per division so you can con convert it into 10 or you can reduce it so if you reduce it okay this is your five volt per division you can also change the time over here for example if i reduce time you are going to have a better idea so now this uh, horizontal scale is 2 millisecond per division so this box is 2 millisecond per division and this is your output of triple five timer for a stable operation thank you if you like my video please subscribe to my channel